the top 10 players of all time who have been cut some pretty impressive names. Let's start out at number 10, the wide receiver possession, position, Wes Welker. Yeah, Great cut. right now. He got cut by the Chargers in 04. Yeah, Miami claims them. Don't you think Miami wishes they kept them? Yeah. You know, Miami gets them. They do a great job in personnel. They bring them to the team, and then they don't give them the right tender. He's in New England, beat them twice a year. How about last year's 08 defensive MVP, James Harrison, cut three times by the Steelers, twice in 03, and also released by the Ravens once. He's at number nine. As well, I guess it was only the man. <laughs> Number eight, Jake DeLome, cut three times by the Saints. 97, 98, 99. 06 Pro Bowl selection almost brought a Super Bowl title to Carolina. He manages games. He manages games, and he's won a lot of games. Unbelievable winning percentage. Staying at the quarterback position to the late Jack Kemp. Cut four times by the Lions, Steelers, Giants, and the Niners. Led the Bills to a pair of AFL titles. You know, and the, and the good thing about Jack Kemp, he never had to go to a practice squad. All these other guys, they were not only were cut, they were on sitting on practice squads, and we could have signed them anyway. Man, it's going to be with us a little bit this fall. Trent Green, cut by the Chargers back in 94, went on to be a two-time Pro Bowl selection in Kansas City. Well, he's another Rams quarterback who's been cut. Bob Kuchenberg, cut by the oh. Eagles and the Falcons in 1969. Eight-time Hall of Fame finalist and a six-time Pro Bowl selection. How does offensive linemen like that get cut? You just don't, you don't understand. In this day, he'd be claimed by about 12 teams. <laughs> How about this one then at center? Jim Langer, cut by the Browns wow. in 70. Pro Football Hall of Fame, class of 1987. You know, especially as a center, it's such a difficult position. I guess uh, maybe he wasn't tough. Enough. Former NFL MVP, Kurt Warner, cut by the Packers back in 1994. Now a two-time NFL MVP. Was outstanding in the Super Bowl last year and still going strong at 38. It, it is amazing. And they tell you the Green Bay, he wouldn't even throw a spiral when he's there. All of a sudden, he's now the MVP. He's the quarterback after the AFL. Willie Brown, the corner, cut by the Oilers in 1963. 1984, went into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Guy that played great bump and run coverage. And how about this one? Let's shake your head every I was single hoping time. we would get to this. Johnny Unitas, cut one. by the Steelers in 1955 after being a ninth-round pick. Hall of Fame I, class of 79. I don't think the Steelers want to be reminded of that one. I wonder who the quarterback was. <laughs> Found him on the sand lots. You got to love that stuff.